it's automatic. I don't think it's something that you can choose not to have. I mean, if you win the Breeders' Cup, juvenile, and think that you don't have derby fever, then you're lying to yourself. Texas Red and Kent DeSormo strike the front looking for a danger, but there simply isn't one. It is Texas Red just outclassing them. Look at this for an easy one in the Breeders' Cup. It's Texas Red and Kent DeSormo just handwritten. They won it about seven. I got him out of the September Keeneland sale. And when he walked up, it was a no-brainer. It took me about 10 seconds, and the rest of the time, I was looking at what was around me and as far as who I was going to potentially have to bid against, and I was hoping nobody had, would have seen the same thing that I saw. It was as soon as the gavel dropped, I called Eric and I said, Eric, got this horse at an unbelievable price, and I would like to own half of them. He mentally handles what we ask him to do. He doesn't get frazzled, that's number one. Number two, what probably makes him this good is the fact that he could mature that body of his, which is not really meant to sprint or to run early. He still went through his paces of development, which culminated in the big win uh, in the Breeders' Cup. Texas Red, oh, look at him run away from his competition. Texas Red with a dramatic win to the juvenile. I didn't think I was in shock as much as he was. The slideshow was just going through my, my head, like remembering us as kids showing horses. And I think I was in much a shock that it was Keith that I had just won my brother a Breeders' Cup race. Honestly, it's not, it's not about us. It's not about Kent and I, it's about the horse. As far as for being on the same page, pace scenario, that kind of stuff, I don't have to say anything. Here comes Texas Red to get him, and Texas Red got him. Texas Red perfectly timed up to win it. For him to overcome the fact that he's not really built to be a early horse, that's what makes him great. And that's also what makes us so excited about this year. If he can do what he did as a juvenile, what can he accomplish? Uh, what can he accomplish as a three-year-old? Who knows what's the best? There is a ongoing system in racing that third race back off the layoff is usually their best but that would mean that uh, I might be starting him too soon. What we're leaning towards now is the uh, San Vicente on the first, and I'm thinking about wheeling him back pretty quick in the Risen Star on the 24th, and then we'll have a little gap in between the Risen Star and the Santa Anita Derby. He's as far along as Big Brown. He's further along than Fupeg and Real Quiet were. He, he's on schedule. You know, you hate to get too far ahead, automatically think we're going to the Kentucky Derby, but uh, you have to make it a part of your plan. So looking forward to attempting to uh, get there again. Uh, if it's a family affair, it'll be extra special. I don't think it's having any effect on what I'm doing with the horse. It's a building excitement, but uh, it's not affecting me, uh, I, w I don't think. Clark, is it affecting me? No. So I still get my eight hours without a problem.